In this phone video, the member of parliament for Chadondo East, who is the shadow minister for foreign affairs, Mwadan Kunyinji is seen meeting some people who he says are Ugandans being held somewhere in the United Arab Emirates in grim circumstances. <laughs> In another video, Mwada is seen sitting on a road pavement with some youths who say they sleep in the rough by the roadsides in Dubai, although they first came to earn a living. <laughs> Today, we caught up with Mwada soon after he returned from the UAE. He took us through what Ugandans living there are going through. Uh, yeah, it, 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 it is very touching and saddening that a number of Uganda nationals, especially in their youthful age, both male and female, are stranded in the Middle East. The Chadondo East MP says several Ugandans are being held in detention centers for reasons related to overstay in Dubai, and yet they arrived there on visitation visas. And when your visa expires, you go into what we call illegal stay. And the illegal stay is at a fine, it's at a cost. So you, you, you find yourself in, in, in the multiple dilemma. You have no job, you have no money to feed yourselves, you are, you are on illegal stay. So you are a criminal in terms of the laws of UAE. He adds that some of the people are duped that there are jobs in Dubai while living here and end jobless. But thousands are stranded, thousands have complained, some are, even, some are taken for non-existing jobs. I found one, one businessman who, who was promised a driving job in the Middle East from Mitiana. I found him selling airtime, he told me he reached there, there was no job, he's selling airtime on the streets. There are those whose documents were confiscated. He says that he wants the House Committee of Foreign Affairs to appeal to the UAE government to have those Ugandans in detention to be repatriated. Follow up and recommend emergency measures to ensure that we repatriate these stranded Ugandan nationals in the UAE and those in detention because the prisons are willing to let them free provided they provide uh, they, 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 they have air ticket. It's all, all about assured, assuring them for, with air tickets. The MP adds that he wants those unable to secure their passports to be provided emergency travel documents. Those stranded can, can, can acquire for free these emergency travel documents because some of them can't afford the, the, the cost of a passport. It's even a longer process because they require them a, a police letter, among others. There are so many requirements they cannot afford while in the Middle East. Mwada wants the government to set up a bilateral labor agreement with countries where Ugandans go to seek work. In the past, the ministries of foreign affairs and gender and labor have indicated that they would set up bilateral arrangements to guarantee the safety of Ugandans working abroad. It remains to be seen when this will come to pass. Jumakiria, NTV.